hope you are fine. My name is Athav. So have you ever thought when your father is away to get some milk but he doesn't come home for a long long time and you don't even know that he will come back or not? It begins with milk and it ends with milk. Without milk there can be no breakfast and without breakfast the day cannot start. So based on this today I will be reviewing a book based on this that is Fortunately the Milk by Neil Gaiman that is illustrated by Chris Riddle. So first about the author Neil Gaiman. Neil Gaiman has written highly acclaimed books for both adults and children. So I will be reviewing one of his books that is Fortunately the Milk that I have read. So now in this book it, there is a story of two children whose moms are away their dads in charge but actually there is no milk in the house so their dad goes out to get some milk but the adventure their dad does when he is about to enter the house is really interesting so i will tell you when their dad is about to enter the house he hears a loud thum thum voice from above the sky or when he sees there he sees a big metal disc hovering above there so then suddenly a light beam comes from the, the that disc and shoots him and then he gets sucking up into the disc there he sees big green blobby aliens that are demanding to remodel the earth there he sees a escape door that uh, that is the portal to something like space time continuum portal he jumps into it and suddenly he found he finds himself in a pirate ship and the pirates are wanting to kill him and then he suddenly when they are about to kill him he hears a loud uh, voice that is saying i am here to help you and then he sees a big hot air balloon then he finds himself that he is rescued by a stegosaurus driving in a hot air balloon that is also a time machine so that stegosaurus is name he finds out that is professor steg so professor steg and their children's father travel to different times to get back to their present they do many adventures such that uh, they meet some volcano gods who are demanding human sacrifices and vampires and such thing so now i will tell you the reasons why i like this book so number 1 i like milk and milk is the main ingredient of this book then second i like time travel then third i like the interesting characters in the book like dinosaurs volcano gods and vampires then number 4 i like the sketches in this book that make us understand it much better i like the illustrations by chris riddle like uh, if you see ask me i like things like this in it then number 5 i like that this book explains what is the importance of a father in a family if you want to know that their father will return home or not you will have to read this book after all that i recommend you that you will definitely like this book this book is an adventurous journey so guys thanks for watching bye bye i will meet you in my next video with the book that is the butterfly lion by michael mortpurgo till then bye bye